You will need the following tools to perform this activity. Strain relief block, located on the Unizone sensor, Micropoint processor module 2, link unit 2, or termination unit 2 circuit board. Side cutters, small flathead screwdriver, small cable tie located in the bag containing the J-bolt supplied with your fence sensor, dielectric grease also located in the bag. First, insert the micropoint cable into the enclosure. Pull about two feet of cable up through the fitting in the bottom of the enclosure. At least nine inches of slack cable is required to successfully make the cable connection. Remove the strain relief block which also serves as the cable jacket stripping tool from the circuit board by unscrewing the two thumb nuts. Remove the cable jacket by inserting the end of the micropoint cable into the larger center hole on the rear of the strain relief block. Spin the block in a clockwise direction until you have removed about three inches of cable jacket. Once the jacket has been removed, the braid will be exposed. Lay the exposed braid onto one of the two grooves on the back side of the strain relief block and measure one block width from the end of the jacket. Holding the block on the cable, push back the braid to bunch it up at the edge of the block. Cut the braid where it is bunched, then remove. This leaves one block width of exposed braid. Smooth out the braid, making sure that it has been cut cleanly, leaving no extra long strands. There should now be approximately two inches of foil exposed. Trim the foil back so that it extends just above the braid. This will expose the mylar sheath. In the bag containing the J-bolts, locate the small black cable tie and attach it just above the foil. Unravel the mylar until it reaches the tie wrap. This will leave approximately 1.5 inches of core exposed. Flick the core to expose the sense wires and move them away from the core. Lay the braid of the prepared cable onto the braid of the circuit board where the strain relief is positioned. Cut the core so that it aligns with the center of the terminal block screws. Strip off approximately one quarter inch of the dielectric. Cut around the dielectric down to the center conductor, then twist off the severed dielectric, leaving an exposed center conductor for insertion into the terminal block. This is what the prepared cable will look like. Insert the center conductor into the center of the three position terminal strip. When inserted, the braid on the cable should be aligned with the braid on the circuit board. For proper grounding, ensure that no part of the cable jacket touches the braid on the circuit board. Twist the cable so that the keyways are generally in the plane of the circuit board. Don't worry if they don't align perfectly. Tighten the screw to secure the center conductor in the terminal strip. Fold the sense wires forward, making sure that there are no strands connecting either sense wires to the braid. Fold back the end of one sense wire so that when it is installed in its terminal position, it has slack. Place the folded end into the terminal strip and tighten the screw. Repeat the same process for the second sense wire.
Cover the exposed end of the cable with supplied dielectric grease. The grease should be applied from above the point where the sense wires leave the keyways, all the way down to the bottom of the exposed braid. Secure the strain relief block and tighten the thumb nuts. Ensure that the block is seated on the braid only and not clamped onto the outer jacket. Now that you have successfully stripped, landed, and greased the micropoint cable, perform a final inspection. Dress the sense wires so that they are neat. Make sure that there are no strands of wire left on the circuit board. Make sure that all three terminal strip screws are tight. Make sure that the dielectric grease covers from above the point where the sense wires leave the keyways down to the bottom of the exposed braid. Make sure that the strain relief block is tightly secured.